So let's learn how to create a .NET Core 3.1 application which uses the Azure AD B2C for authentication. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, from Visual Studio um, 2019, which is the one I am using, I am going to create a new project. We are going to find to look for a .NET Core for ASP.NET Core web application. Uh, it's going to be in C Sharp. Okay. And yeah. Azure AD L demo. Okay. and I am going to create it for making the things easier I am not going to use the angular template but I am going to use the web application uh, the model uh, with model view controller just to avoid the angular redirections and configuration just to make it fighter, uh, faster sorry Okay, so I'll go and click create. And we wait for our application to be created. Okay, so here is our application. We have to wait a couple of seconds for it to finish um, downloading the packages. We just verify that it's on .NET Core 3.1. We see that it's in .NET Core 3.1. Okay, if we run the application just like this, um, we won't have anything uh, for authentication or anything like that. We will just have the default template from an ASP.NET Core application in the 3.1 version. Okay, so let's running for a second just to verify that everything is okay and so we can see the um, application just like it is. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Okay, now one thing we can do meanwhile is we see that this application is running on the port 44347. We can probably go and change that. In our application in Azure. So we are going to continue with the same application we had created in Azure. So when I go to my Azure B2C, and then you go to the app registrations or the application either tab works we go to the application we created and we will go to the redirect urls and <coughs> we can either add or modify the url so sign in OIDC yes and I'm going to delete the other one because we are not using it so we see that the redirect URI is uh, to our application and sign in dash OIDC okay so that's ready meanwhile we go to verify our application, the application, basically we can go to privacy and helm and that's pretty much everything we can do because it's just a template. Okay, so one of the first things we need to do is go to the configured services and add the configuration for the um, Azure AD B2C 
authentication. So basically, we say the cookies policy. We indicate that the same site mode is not specified, and we set the handle same site cookie compatibility. We then need to add the sign in configuration, and we will say that it's located under the Azure. Um, that's the Azure B2C, Azure AD B2C. Okay. Then to the controllers with views, we set or indicate that we are going to use the Microsoft Identity UI, which is auto generated. And then we are going to configure the Open ID connection options from some configuration we will have in our app settings.json file. Okay. So this is giving me errors because we need to add a package, a couple of packages actually. So we are going to manage NuGet packages and we are going to look for Microsoft.identity.web. Web UI. So this should actually add both. Uh, I'm choosing the preview. So make sure that you have the include pre-releases um, checked. Okay. Now we need to add the using. The using. So we are going to add the using for the ASP.NET Core HTTP. Okay. We are going to add the using for the Microsoft Identity Web. We are going to add using for the Microsoft Identity Web UI. And we are going to add the using for the Microsoft ASP.NET Core Authentication OpenID Connect namespace. Okay, so now we don't have the errors. Now, in the configure, we are going to set all of this for everything to work okay so uh, we add the HTTPS redirection it was already added so we delete one of those use static files um, it was already added from before so we are going to remove it Use cookie policy, it wasn't added before, so we leave it there. Use routing, use authentication, and use authorization. Okay. Use authorization. Use routing, they are both there. So. Okay. That should be it for now. Now, one of the things we actually need to do is we are going to go to any of our views and probably going to go to the home and here I'll just add a yeah not one line and we are going to test with just a link So, the default route for the identity provider is under an area name Microsoft Identity. Yeah, sign in. Okay. Okay. Microsoft Identity Account Sign In. Perfect. So now one of the things we are actually going to do 
is retrieve the app settings configuration or set up the app settings configuration um, I have it in one of these applications I forgot to copy it so I'll just take it from there 